Hey YouTube and thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Ari and I'm a licensed esthetician and I make videos about beauty and skincare. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you subscribe. Welcome people to the first video of 2021. I wanted to make a video kind of starting the new year, just talking about skincare, not really advice, but more tips and habits and kind of things that if you're doing this last year that you should leave in last year and things that if you weren't doing, you should start this year. I'm going to be honest too, some of these things are things that I do that I need to get out of the habit of doing, so I will be real with you guys and tell you all the stuff that I do, skin kind of beauty related, that I need to just stop. I'm also aware there's literally a ton of videos on YouTube about like self-care tips and skincare habits to get into, so if you've already heard all of these things, I'm sorry, I'm doing my best, but if you have not heard any of these things, then I hope something in this video helps you. The first thing I want to talk about is skincare related and this tip is something that I did make a habit of doing in 2020 that I feel like makes such a difference but everybody has been there before when you say like okay I'm gonna have a full self-care day like I'm gonna take a nice shower I'm gonna do like a deep conditioner I'm gonna do all this stuff and then you end up waiting and waiting and waiting and then it's like 11 p.m. and you're like I'm taking a quick shower and going to bed. That happens because you wait too long to do it. If you have plans to take like a nice relaxing shower and you have like a face mask you want to do and you want to do a hair mask and you want to like shave your legs, like all that stuff, you need to make sure that you're doing it earlier in the day because then you're more likely to do it before you get distracted and wrapped up in everything else of the day. So that is my first bit of advice to you. Even if you want to do it like before you eat dinner and then you can just have yourself like a chill rest of the night, try doing that. It's just the point that the longer you wait to do something like that, the less likely you're going to do it. Another thing that's also kind of shower related, please stop using loofahs. Please, please stop using loofahs. I don't care what anybody tells me, there is not a single thing anybody in this world can say that will convince me that loofahs are not gross. Even if you change them once a week, even if you change them all the time, I think it's gross. Just use a washcloth. I know someone out there is a scientist that will tell me that they looked under a loofah, under a microscope, and they found all types of bacteria and nasty stuff. So I know I'm not crazy. Someone out there is going to agree with me. The next habit you need to get into is stop skipping body exfoliation. It's so easy when you're talking like your skincare routine to think everything with the face, you know to exfoliate your face and you probably have a routine for exfoliating your face, but you do need to exfoliate your body too, especially if you're using like body butters and lotions and stuff like that. All those products are great, but if you're not getting off any of the dead skin, then it's not going to absorb into your skin as good as they could be. I personally exfoliate my body anytime between one to say three times a week, I think. Honestly, my body skin is way less sensitive than the skin on my face, so I don't notice any irritation or anything from exfoliating. I feel like what I've been doing has been fine. Just pay attention to your skin, but either way, you want to make sure that you're exfoliating, but you're also not over exfoliating because that is the whole theme of everything skincare and life related is balance. Don't overdo things, but don't underdo things is basically what I'm trying to say. This next one is a habit that I am personally trying to break and like set a better tone for in the new year and this is makeup related. I'm so guilty of this like when I tell you guys that when I get ready I literally just put the makeup on my face like I do not prime I do not set I do not spray it's literally so bad the only time I've like used primer are times that I know I would be going to like a club or a bar or something that's going to be really hot. I literally don't prime and it's so bad. I just got a prime spray from Tarte. Like I made it in a video or I hauled it in a video. It was like a Tarte unboxing haul. I'll link that. But that was like my first setting spray literally forever. I don't know what it is. I'm just lazy and I feel like I use so many skincare products and then it just, I use all my skincare and then I just like go into putting on a foundation over it. Like I literally do my, my products and my SPF and moisturizer and then makeup. I need to get primers this year. I need to get like a face primer. I already have a setting spray. I need to get like an eye primer. Hopefully I see a big difference. I feel like every single like beauty guru says that they swear by primers, that they're super important. So that is something that I'm going to try in the new year is get a priming routine under control. If you guys have any good primers you absolutely love, make sure you comment them down below because I will go out and buy them and try them. But that is my advice because I'm telling you so that I can hold myself accountable. If you're not using any primers, go get a primer. The next thing that you need to stop doing in this new year is waiting way too long to wash your makeup brushes. I noticed a difference in my skin when I was using clean brushes versus when I wasn't washing my brushes enough. The thing that I started doing that really helped me get this under control is I would have multiple brushes like of the same brush. I don't really buy expensive brushes honestly. All of mine are from either like e.l.f. or not Colourpop, what is it? BH Cosmetics and like Morphe, stuff like that. 
So what I started doing is I would have multiple of the same brush. Say it's like a big fluffy powder brush. And then when they were dirty and I know I could not use it anymore, I would put it in a separate container instead of having it on my desk with all my other like makeup that I reach for is. So that way I know that it's dirty. Stop using it. Put it in a separate container. Use the clean ones. But then I know once I'm out of clean brushes, okay, it's time to wash your brushes. It's just one of those things. I hold so much bacteria. And then if you're using a dirty brush, not only are you putting it on your face, but you're putting it onto the makeup that you're using, which is then going to make your makeup dirty. So just make it habit to wash your brushes more often. Back on the subject of skincare, this is something that I tell people in person all the time that I really want to tell you guys is that it is so easy when you're unhappy with your skin to go out and buy a ton of products and then just go home and start using everything. And although that does work for some people, especially depending on like what you're trying to achieve, that does work for some people. But honestly, most times it ends up just making you break out. Your skin gets irritated. It'll make your skin like blotchy and red. It's just not good. So if you're going to try to get a new skincare routine, introduce products slowly. I have said this before. I am literally the queen of overusing something at first and then being like, wow, I'm breaking out this is so weird why is this happening I'm guilty of it and I will 100% admit that I'm guilty of it and I need to work on that I literally did that with my retinol I was like so excited to use it that I used it too much and then I started having like purging from it if you're getting a new skincare routine just go slow work your way into it just start with one product give your skin a week or two to figure out if it's going to cause any irritation and then add in the rest of the products this also helps too in weeding out what is causing your breakouts if you're having something. So like if you get a ton of products and you have five new things that you're using and then you wake up and your skin is all crazy, you don't know what it is because you just put five new things on your face. If you're doing that, you're never going to figure out what it is and then you have to stop everything. So if you get a new cleanser and you use that cleanser, you know it's fine, but then you get a serum and then once you start using the serum, now you have problems. You know it was the serum and you're not trying to just rule out everything and then you end up stopping using a cleanser that's fine for your skin because you weren't keeping track of what you were using when. Another thing specific to skincare that I know I've said probably a hundred times, make sure you're washing your sheets and your pillowcases enough. You should be changing your sheets often anyways, but honestly, wash your pillowcases even more often than you change your sheets, especially if you're oily, especially if you're acne prone, especially if you sleep and like you're someone like me, like I sleep with a lot of skincare on and I sleep with a lot of products in my hair. That will end up breaking you out if you're not washing them enough. So just make sure you're doing that. It's one of the easiest, like, smallest steps you can do that'll make a difference in your skin. And speaking of skincare progress, take progress pictures of your skin. I cannot stress that enough. I started doing it towards the beginning of the year when I started doing the peels on myself at home when all those videos were, like, coming out. That's when I started doing it. The reason I say this is because you look at yourself every single day. So you're probably not going to notice that much how far you've actually come in your progress with your skin. It's the same thing with weight loss. They tell you if you're trying to lose weight, take pictures periodically so that you can look back and say like, wow, I've had a lot of progress. And if you're not feeling good about yourself one day, you can look back and say, wow, I've had a lot of progress. It's so easy looking at your skin every single day to not see a difference with it. But if you start taking progress pictures, not only will you see how far you've come, but you can also look back at when that picture was taken and say like, okay, well, this is what I was using around that time. This was my diet around that time. This is how much I was sleeping around that time. So it helps you create like a better plan for the future. And last but not least, this is the most important thing that I want you to take from this video and that I want you to take into the new year is stop being so hard on yourself. Skin is constantly changing. Your skincare routines will be constantly changing. Your body is constantly changing. It's not a one size fits all, like one way fix all with your skin. You're going to have times that your skin looks great and your routine is great and then something could change and then maybe it's not so great after that for a little bit. That is totally normal. When you say like, I want to have better skin in the new year, it does not mean that you're going to do like one thing and that means you're going to have your skin perfectly clear forever. It's going to constantly change. You're going to need to get some new stuff, get rid of some old stuff just don't be too hard on yourself because it's constantly changing we already have so much stress in our life it could be stress from work your personal life it could be stress from everything that happens every day in the world things are going to stress you out they're going to affect your sleep they're going to affect your diet all of these things will change your skin and that's 100% normal I think we all kind of get this image from whether it be like influencers or the media whatever you want to call it that says like this used to be me I used to look bad now I did this now I look great that's good if that happens for some people, but it's not always going to be like that for everybody. And it's going to be a constant journey of ups and downs. You need to keep that in mind is there's always going to be ups and downs. 
the thing is, is skincare is supposed to be fun. Self-care is supposed to be fun. Doing your makeup is supposed to be fun. And if you're doing these things because you feel like you absolutely have to or you hate yourself, you're not going to get the best experience out of it. You want to be doing these things because you enjoy them and because they make you feel confident and they make you feel good about yourself. So trying to switch into that sort of mindset is going to be so helpful and just make everything better, honestly. I just really want to stress the message of not being too hard on yourself. And when you go into the new year and you're making these like kind of self-care goals and you're like, I want to get better at doing makeup this year. I want to grow my hair out. I want to get a better skincare routine this year. You're kind of like putting all of those ideas together. Just keep in mind, it's supposed to be fun. You do these things not because you have to, not because you're not worthy of anything if you don't do that. It's because you enjoy it, because it makes you feel confident, because it makes you put the best version of yourself forward. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am sorry if this was long or rambly. I did not plan this out. I just wanted to really talk kind of from the top of my head and just give you guys these ideas. I'm also going to be so honest. I am totally at like a brain block for video ideas. I just don't know what to make videos about anymore. So if you guys have any suggestions, make sure you leave them down in the comments. And also, if you've commented suggestions before, it's kind of hard to like weed through them because certain videos have way more comments than others. If you've commented like a video suggestion in one of those videos and I haven't made something about it, try to find it and comment it on this one or just a video that has less comments so that I can actually like go through and come up with ideas. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody's new year is going okay so far and I will see you in my next video.